Well, here we have another episode of What Is This Idiot Doing? And I couldn't leave well enough alone. So you guys, if you watch any of these videos, you remember that little Latte Panda computer that I set up to run Mach 3? It's right here. As you can see, it's not on, no lights. I went with something a little different. Now, these products are not sponsored. I paid for these with my own money. But what I went with is one of these little PC sticks. I went with this one specifically because it had a network port in it. And let me see if I can grab the box real quick. Pocket PC. This one, let's see what it says. It is got six gigabytes of RAM. Let's get this over here. And 128 gig storage. It's the T6 Pro off of Amazon, off the rainforest. And this specific unit was $161 and it comes with the little PC itself it's got an HDMI port here so that's what actually plugs into it then it's got a little male to female cable that's actually going up to the back of the monitor and it comes with a little power supply so it's getting its power supply from a little wall ward no big deal the way I've got this set up is this white cable comes over here to this hub and I've got my wireless keyboard and mouse plugged in and USB drive. I went through and cleaned up Mach, or not Mach 3, but cleaned up Windows, took all the garbage out, did all the settings, installed Mach 3, installed uh, .NET Framework 2.0 because that's required for some of the plugins. Turned off the firewall, turned off all the power management, set everything to maximum, turned off all the pretty stuff of Windows 10 so I don't have anything taxing the GPU. And I don't even know if you can tell, but even in the Mach 3 folder, we've got this gradient here. Not Mach 3 folder, but the program. I went into the settings. If you right click on the icon, let's see if we can do it. Go to properties, compatibility, and I reduced it to 8-bit color because I've noticed that on these little PCs like this, they don't have much of a GPU on them. The actual GPU is built into the processor itself. And by changing the color palette, I've been bouncing from screen to screen and all my text in these yellow boxes would disappear with it set to full color and I would have to bounce from screen to screen and it's not a big deal but this way I'm taking all the per all the what's the words I'm looking for all the load off of it by it not having to do high resolution screens and for what I'm doing it doesn't matter so we got .NET framework installed uh, Mach 3 installed, uninstalled all the bloatware that comes with Windows 10. And as you can see, it's running the machine. It's just over there, just chugging away. Sounds good, sounds nice and smooth. So I went from 200 plus dollars for this and you had to buy the case and the fan and everything, which I still like this little thing. But now this, $161, $175 to my door, it's actually a pretty decent idea. So next what I'm going to try and do is take a solid state drive and plug it into the USB hub or even into the extra uh, USB port here. See if I can use that as additional storage or to bounce files back and forth. Kind of like what I wanted to do with this but it wasn't powerful enough. So that's what this idiot is doing now.